G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Uh, what we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at a method of addition. Uh, it's a slight tweak on normal addition, and it's called no carry addition. Like the name suggests, it pretty much tries to avoid uh, carrying as much as possible. Look, this method is not much faster than normal addition. I'll, I'll grant that straight away, but uh, it, it's mainly for people who struggle with. Um, with carrying across, or possibly uh, people who are just looking for a slight different method of uh, adding and subtracting and things like this. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. Now, the way that this works is as follows. Um, first off, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll give an example and then we'll look at how we'll work this out. So, say we're going to add 3,145, 6,182, 7,140. Three and nine thousand one hundred and twenty eight. Okay, that'll do us for the start. Okay, so the way this works is as follows we're going to be adding columns as we go, all right. Um, but when we do this, we're going to be um, we're going to be looking for complementary pairs just to help ourselves out. But we're going to get these totals, we're going to put them out slightly differently to how we do in normal addition. Uh, but one of the advantages of this is we can actually instead of adding left, uh, right to left, we can actually add left to right. And this is really good because it starts to, uh, you know, we start out getting the most significant figures first and the least significant figures last. And so the answer starts to get more and more accurate as we go along. So what about I show you how to do this? So let's start over this side here. Okay, so let's look for complementary pairs. We'll add all these together. Complementary pairs, these are ones that add up to 10. So do you see any? Yep, we have 7 and 3 there. 10. 19, 25. Okay, and this is 25,000. So we can put this straight away in this 25,000 column. Okay, so the, the number finishes, the, the units part of it finishes there, and we go from there. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, easy, is 4. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be looking at an answer that's about 25,000, 25,400. We're getting closer. Okay, let's add these next ones together. Uh, 8 and 2 is 10. 18. Alright, let's put that in. 18. Alright, it's getting closer and closer, isn't it? 20, it's a bit more now. It's uh, maybe, you know, 25,580. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's add the next ones together. Uh, 2 and 8 is 10. 18. Okay, I'll put those ones in as well. So, now let's add these all together. Okay, so we're going to sum what we have here now and get our grand total here. So let's do this as follows. Okay, we have an 8, we have a 9, we have a 5, we have a 5, and we have a 2. Okay, 25,598. As you saw, we got closer and closer to our answer as we went along. Okay, 25,000, 25,400, 25,580. Okay, so we got closer and closer and closer to our answer. So I think it's one of the advantages of this. Um, you will notice occasionally you do get little carries at this stage here. Um, I think that it's easier possibly to do that at that stage, but they're usually easier numbers to work with. So let's have another look at using this, okay? Um, I will rub this out, and we will start with another question. Alright, what about we have a look at another one, uh, 3,104, 609, 3,087, uh, 1,962, 5,000, uh, 143, ah, let's face it, that'll do us for now, otherwise I'm going to run out of room, aren't I? I'll tell you what, you give this one a go. Alright, pause the video, give it a go. Alright, hopefully you've done it, hopefully you paused it. We'll see what the answer is. I'm going to be going from, again, left to right here. So, let's add these together. I don't see any complementary numbers, so let's uh, eat. let's just add them as we go. 3, 6, 7, 12. Okay. Alright, this next column, okay, the hundreds, we have 10, 16, 17. This one here, we have a 10, 18, 25, this one here, 10, 
19, 21, 25. Okay, so let's add them again as we go. Uh, I should be putting probably lines here to neaten everything up, shouldn't I? Okay, we have a 5, we have a 7, we have a 9, we have a 3, we have a 1. Okay, so we start out with a 12,000, we got closer when we got 13,700, I'm just adding these as we go along, and you can see we got closer and closer and closer and closer to our answer. So how'd you go with that one? Hopefully that was the answer you got. Ah, oh, that hopefully I didn't get the answer just wrong then, which does happen occasionally. Um, so... What about I'll give you one last one of these, and we'll put it on now. Um, what about we go 26708, 26708, uh, what about 9124, what about uh, 13,346, and then finally we'll uh, let's put another couple up there we'll do um, oh, just a nice small one 161 and we'll do another one which is going to be oh, 4,227 okay now let's add these together okay so <laughs> You're going to start doing these ones. I'm going to start doing it from this side. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we're going to be looking in the 30,000 range, because okay? we're in the tens of thousands now. Let's add these next ones up. Look for complementary numbers. We have 10 here. 19, 22. Okay, so this is 22. We're going to be looking about 52,000. Okay, just adding these mentally in my head. Okay, we have a 10, 11, 12, 14. Uh, we have a 10... 14, and then finally what we have is a 10, 18, 19, 26. Oh, look, I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to start moving my uh, stuff down there. So let's finally add what we have here. We have a 6, a 6, a 5, a 3, and a 5. So our answer, 53,566. Anyway, what did you think of that method? It's, uh, it's not a bad method if you want to avoid carrying. It's just a different way of looking at mathematics, okay? And that's all this is devoted to. It's not always going to be the fastest method. I personally find other methods a little bit faster than this. But anyway, let us know what you think. Okay, see you later. Bye.